Hey guys, how you doing? How you been? Laducium here playing Dark Souls 3. And uh, we are back at this jerk's home abode because uh, I think I want to go fight that giant lizard monster uh, that is down there. And we should be able to make a run for it from here, if I am not mistaken. So... I have a lot of Dark Souls videos, goddammit, I need to post. Um, yeah, I can't stop playing this game. The giants are back. Isn't that interesting? The two sleeping giants, they respond. I wonder if I run through here if they'll get up. Oh, that guy got up, and then fireballs, and then that guy got up. Whoosh. Yep, yeah, you don't want to try to fight them with the casters trying to caster you yep we should fog wall ahead it's not bad but we can do better could this be a illusory wall I guess it took down oh goes right on top I didn't mean to do that shit Try geography looking away. Try illusory wall. My other message went away. And there's two. Fog wall ahead. Ah, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> I gave up. Uh, I'm trying. Let's go down. All the way down. We'll fight this stupid lizard monster. doesn't come right after us what's over here not much is it just oh there's two I knew there'd be two how did I know because it was too good to be true to just be one can I pull just one is the question I can hit him with an arrow and a stupid face okay now now he's pissed <laughs> We can do... Oh, crap. We can do this. I hate it how... Oh, shit. That happens. But I also hate it how... I get hit with that lightning. I'm going to call these mini gaping dragons. Um, yeah, that lightning really stinks. I do think that is the closest bonfire that we have, which is unfortunately a bit of a run, but doable. It's interesting that the giants respawn there, these smaller giants, mini giants, but they don't respawn dark ahead, but they don't respawn in other places, is in the Cathedral of the Deep. So I don't know if that's what that's all about. Well, that's okay, we can just run past them. Or is it just one response? I don't know what's happening over there with this giant situation. I've got a terrible lizard to kill. Luckily, not too many souls. These are kind of the equivalent, at least in terms of like annoying level and difficulty or whatever, to the Titanite Demons, I would say. He's got the same charging attack as the Gaping Dragon. Kind of the same lunging attack. Oh no. That's bad! Oh. Can I drink? Yes. Good. Crap. I hate that. I hate that. Even more. Yeah, more charging attacks, please. 
Yes. No. Bad. But. Shit. Get out of the corner. And heal. I bet if I hit him in his face, that does more damage, but easier said than done. He should do that sort of attack. And then lightning, which is fine. And then a lunge. Yes. Crap. Crap. Heal. And dodge and heal. And then dodge. And then heal. <laughs> That's all I'm doing right now. Can I hit you one more time? Good. Well, there goes most of my health. <laughs> We're going to use these heals for now because I'd like to save something. Uh, I don't know if I can get this item without triggering that guy. It might be an, a slightly easier fight, and hopefully they don't respawn. So I'm going to try to get this item first to see if I can do it without pissing that guy off. But if they don't respawn, then this will be fairly easy. If they do respawn, then a little less. So deep gem. Looks like that's something or somebody over there. But, oh, and this guy gave me like 13,000 souls or 12,000 souls, which is pretty decent. Human dregs. Okay. All right. That's interesting. Let's check that out. So we got a deep gem, which we have a bunch of. And where are these human dregs? What are human dregs? Proof is an Aldrich faithful has met their duty. Proof of a duty fulfilled by the Aldrich faithful, who patiently await the devourer, devourer of God's return. Dregs are the heaviest things within the human body, and will sink to the lowest depths imaginable where they become the shackles that bind this world. Um, Alright. Shall we try to kill this thing? I guess so. I, I don't want to. But I think it, it'll do me good. Crap! Heal. And hit. And dodge. And dodge. And hit. And dodge. Crap. I hate how... What are you going to do? That. I hate how I always come out of whatever it is that I'm doing with my shield up. Dodge. What are you going to do? Jump or charge? Charge. And then one of those. Yep, I should have watched out for that. Crap. Tried to dodge that one and didn't quite work out. That's okay. Well, it might be okay. Let's see if they, the thing responds. I hope the answer is no. But... It's a tough, tough dude. But it'll be worth it, actually. Killing two of those things will net me a level, which is nice. Hello, ghost. Goodbye, ghost. And seeing how I'm not even using my shield, I should probably be using the Grass Crest shield. Or something that has lightning resistance, but Grass Crest... Gives me better stamina, which makes me happy. This time we're going to try running along the edge here and seeing if this 
avoids triggering the fireball dudes. Nope, it does not. It does avoid triggering the giants. But. I don't like you fireball dudes. Luckily I don't have to fight you anymore. Whoosh. So let's find out if, just out of curiosity, those things don't respawn. They do not. Well, how's that? For nice and convenient. Now I just gotta kill that one. Boom. Maybe I can get two shots off. Every little bit helps. Roll. He does that stupid swipe. Come at me. Alright, charge. Good. Perfect time for a heal. Shit. Shit. Okay. Good. Oh god. <laughs> Shit. It's that double No! It's that double attack. I really don't like this guy. I was able to do it before. I know I can do it again. But man oh man. Alright, we're gonna I'm gonna edit the running backs because it's boring. So here we go. Alright, so here we are. I swapped out the Pontiff's uh, left eye for Lord's, Lloyd's sword ring boost attack when HP is full because uh, I might get more use out of this than being able to attack continuously. I don't know if I can actually attack continuously against this guy because I seem to only be able to get one or two hits in before I have to disengage. Nope. Ooh, that is much nicer damage. Roll, because he does that. Come on, charge or jump. Ah, screw it, let's top off. I guess I could use the column. To my advantage. Oh shit. I hate that attack with a passion. Okay, good. Get far enough away. Top off. Shit. Nope. I hate that attack. You gaping dragon son of a bitch. Dodge and heal. Where the hell are my iframes? Iframes, ever heard of them? Crap. Roll. Okay, let's try this. Do, we need to do a better job than we have been doing. I 
can't get out of that completely. And back. And he goes back that way. And there goes my blue tier stone ring. Nope. I need more of that. And less of that. <laughs> oh shit. How did that happen? I don't know if... I, okay. I'm having a lot of trouble dodging this guy. Alright. We're going to do another run back. I haven't given up yet. But I'm getting close. Uh, I am doing pretty good damage with these rings, though. And I wonder if I can replace this ring, maybe, with this one. Boost rolling invincibility at the cost. So this improves our decks, but who cares right now about our decks? It's quite a nice boost to decks, by the way. So this... Where's our physical defense? One, 110. Oh, absorption. So this might be really bad, actually. I don't know. What else have we got? Ring-wise, Estus wouldn't be bad. You know what? Let's throw the Estus ring on because the extra heals could be very useful. All right, let's do this again. All right, here we go. Take whatever. Oh, he's already angry. I'm trying to use the column here as both a defense and a way to block his stupid face. Crap! How did I beat that other one? <laughs> I don't. I don't even know. All right, one more time, or maybe a few more times. I don't know. I, I will beat him. Dang it! Uh. So I'd equip the Estus ring. What else have we got ring-wise? Boost miracles, pyromancies, additional spells, poison resistance, bleed resistance. Uh, dark damage, fire, stamina recovery. Mm, guarding attacks. Are equip load? No, 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 no. What? Reversal ring. When, when did we get this? A divine ring granted to the dark moon Gwendolyn in his youth. Huh. Um, causes males to perform female actions and vice versa. Gwendolyn was raised like a daughter through the aura of the moon and was said to behave like a sullen brooding goddess. Neat. Um, you know what I thought we should do actually? It occurs to me that maybe we need to take away the attune spell and instead, we could do this, but I'm thinking we may want to do, where is it? Uh, force, seek guidance, no, homework, tears of denial. Can we do this? Oh, it requires two slots. Okay. Let's try it. So that way, if I get down to zero HP, that should prevent me from getting killed. All right, here we go. Also, don't forget to get your souls, which are somewhere here. I don't think it's a bad idea to use the column. 
I just don't think I'm using it necessarily correctly. Let's roll away. This does do quite a bit more damage. Nope. What is, is that? I don't know why I'm glowing. Why was I glowing? Crap. Is it one of my rings? What makes me glow? Somebody explain to me what's happening. I hate that attack. I hate this enemy. It's actually tougher than a lot of bosses. Trying to also top off. Did I get him? Oh no, I just stunned him. But then I got him. Ring of favor. Sweet. And a bonfire. Super sweet. Alright, let's check out this ring of favor. Find out what it does. Uh, there it is. A ring symbolizing the favor of the goddess Fina, whose be be fateful beauty is mentioned in legend. True to the fickle nature of Fina's favor, her ring increases max HP, stamina, and maximum equip load. Hmm. Uh, that's the same ring that Lothric, or whatever, not Lothric, whatever his name is. Loric drops. Does this break if I take it off? It doesn't say it does. So let's try switching out. Oh, sure. Lloyd's sword ring for the ring of favor. I don't know what why I'm glowing. Did it give me a lot of... I am going to rest here. I don't think those guys respawn. Because there wouldn't be a bonfire here otherwise. Let's find out. Okay, you're alive. Are you good or bad? Pray to Archdeacon McDonald. Mmm, McDonald's. I mean, I'm joining every covenant. Aldrich Faithful. You have obtained proof of the covenant. Offer human dregs, leave. I'm not going to offer human dregs just yet. Uh, but I am going to read the covenant description. So that's like a chandelier or something. The holy symbol of the Cathedral of the Deep and crest of those who see beyond fire to the age of deep waters. Equipped to pledge oneself to the Aldrich Faithful Covenant. The faithful ensure that Aldrich, devourer of gods, remains undisturbed by taking the form of loyal spirits and hunting down those who would trespass the ruined cathedral. Summoning takes place automatically while this is equipped. So this is the guys that attacked me earlier when I first came to this place. I think were those spirits. And is there anything else around here? Nothing up there. I honestly, I'm a little concerned because as we take some of these covenants, we probably piss off NPCs and close out our ability to get others. But uh, on the other hand, I don't know. I don't have a plan for this. Um, water re res reserve, reserve, reservoir, reserve. Uh, let's go back to Firelink Shrine. We'll get a level. I don't know why I'm glowing. No, I'm not glowing. It must have been that spell, right? That we cast Tears of Denial. So let's level up. Uh, so we've got our faith pretty good. I, I'm going to 
keep throwing stuff into attunement. Although strength, yeah, if we get to 18 strength, we can wield the katana. I don't, I, yeah, I don't have a plan. <laughs> but Tears of Denial is pretty good, I think. Attune spell, but we are going to get rid of it in favor of lightning and heal for now. Can't do great heal. Um, what else can we do? See guidance now. I mean, we could do this. Some extra attack, absorption, resist, stamina, recovery. Could be useful. Screw it. Let's try it. Um, and then we're going to go back to Enerlando, but I think we're going to do that in the next video. Well, we're going to apparently do that now because I clicked on it, but we're going to start recording in the next video. And from here, I'm going to explore. Before going into Enerlando, I think what I want to do is explore around the rotating tower to see where else it can lead. And then we'll figure out where to go next. But until then, folks, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Later!